All right, I want to show a new workflow that we're going to add into D3 Tool Online. So I'm here loaded up um, in our virtual machine. And down here, uh, there's another new tab called Tooth Segmentation. And this is just a reboot of an old project that we never had time to make into an actual product. But now we're going to start kind of building those out in our online, um, online format. So I've got two models here. I'm going to left click, shift, and left click. I'm just going to now click and drag, so just drag and drop from my computer onto my 3D workspace here. And you'll see we get a little progress bar. Things are uploading. All right, now I'm going to switch over to the Tooth Segmentation tab and press Import Model. So these are the ones I just uploaded. So left click, shift, left click. Now we're going to import those into our 3D space. And this is um, in the desktop folder. So anything you drag and drop just goes to the desktop of your virtual workspace. So here I have two models. And so let's identify that the upper jaw is there. Oops. And a little double click there and a lower jaw here. <clears throat> so now we've got those two models identified. Uh, these are reasonably sized models, so they really don't need to be optimized. If you had really dense meshes, like if they were over 25 megabytes, um, you'd want to reduce these down by pressing the Optimize button. Now we're going to indicate our upper teeth. So I'm using the US numbering system, so it's going to ask me up here which teeth we want to segment. Um, if you need to skip over a tooth, like for example if eight were missing, we could press skip tooth and then we click right on nine or ten and whatever the last tooth you click on, it's going to ask you for the next one. Eight. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and if you misplace one, you can click it and drag it into place. Fourteen, fifteen. Okay. We'll press finish. Now we will indicate the lower teeth. And you know, we'll get this a little bit smarter where if you have both jaws, it will automatically kick you into the view from above and to the lower jaw when you click finish on the upper one. Okay, so all those teeth are indicated. Now we're going to pre-process the models. That should take about 20, 30 seconds. Great, and they'll appear this nice um, bright white. Now we're going to segment the upper teeth. So if your skin is nice and clean and has really sharp, crisp, gingival um, contours and crisp embrasures, um, this is going to do a pretty good job right off the bat. So. What you need to do is just look around for any spots that might have been missed. So if you press skeletonize here, that's going to show you in blue everywhere it could find a little walking path. So basically it just tries to walk around all the red highlighting. And then you'll also be able to see any areas that were over segmented quite commonly on the groove. So I'm going to right click here just to break these up a little bit. You don't have to delete it all as long as you break the loop. So you can check that by pressing skeletonize again. Okay, this looks really good. Break that up. And there is a user manual for, for these tools. Um, so you'll be able to do that. Okay, so now we've got our segmentation. I'll press next. And we should get all the teeth um, individually colored. Looks great. If you needed to make any changes, um, for example, I think there was one little bleb back here. Yeah. 
So if you need to add to a patch, start painting in the blue and just paint into the region that needs to be modified. Okay, I'm going to press next. We'll rate our segmentation 10 out of 10 and go on to the next jaw. Now we will segment the lower teeth and repeat the same process. So we don't have to select anything. Um, it, it automatically knows what jaw to do what to. And this looks great. So there's an, there is one that's missing, but I'll show you what happens if you, if you miss a spot. So let's skeletonize, look around. Our eye immediately catches this little spot right here and this little spot right here. And let's say, okay, looks great. Now there's an error right here where this, um, this didn't, there's not really a nice groove across the incisal embrasure. So if I click next and try to go to the next step, it's going to tell us, oh, you're missing those two teeth don't have individual patches. So I'm going to paint right across there. Perfect. And hit next again. Great, so now all of our lower teeth are segmented. This little area here that we missed, not a big deal. Left click and paint. Um, you could also probably get away without even bothering with that. Again, 10 out of 10. And now we will get to the fun stuff. Okay, so right now all the upper um, jaw teeth are hidden, so we will provide some view helper buttons to show the upper or lower teeth, but I'm going to press Alt-H on my keyboard to unhide everything. And then I'm going to hide the original jaws. So now we can right click on any teeth in the scene, or we can left click on them in the outliner. Although at this point, the outliner is pretty congested. So I'm going to click in the 3D view and hold shift and right click to select multiple teeth. You can see this very, um, very faint outline around each tooth. Okay, and I'm going to do the bottom as well. And now what I'm going to do is press Reduction Shell. And we'll take 3 quarters of a millimeter off. And what this is going to do is actually create a solid tooth for every tooth we have selected and reduce the cast um, as if it had been prepped an even 3 quarters of a millimeter off. Okay, and there is the result. So here you can see, unlike a lot of other um, softwares that will do a reduction for you, um, this actually breaks the contact, so which can be good for making temporary shells or for um, doing diagnostic wax up. Having the tooth prepped digitally actually helps the software merge in whatever new teeth you're doing on top of it. So now that we have this, um, we can then save this blend file. So if I press save blend file to cloud, we'll name it segmentation test. It will later appear over here in our file browser and we'll also get a, uh, a pop-up to actually download it. But if we come over here and open this up, um, you can see the file in your file browser right here. And then you can download it anytime you want later on. Okay, so that's the whole project file that will have all the individual uh, segmented teeth and also all the solid teeth. So then you can do even more crazy things. Um, and later when I get these view helpers, it won't be so difficult to 
unhide all of the convex items. But let's just unhide a few. Ten, oops, uh, ten convex. Eleven convex. Okay, so here we've got all of our segmented teeth. And I'm going to hide this upper jaw here so we can see how they look. And we can even just use Blender's regular Boolean tool. And actually subtract out the subtract out the prep to make a temporary shell. Okay, so this is pretty powerful stuff. Um, we're going to have a lot more tools that you know just take advantage of this overall workflow. Um, for one, it's great for creating tooth libraries from scans. Um, for two, temporary shells and diagnostic wax up. And eventually, um, some orthodontic simulations, just some you know mock-ups where if you want to just play around with moving teeth, um, you could get an idea for what, what might be possible. And really, this is just for us to showcase um, what we're able to now do in the web browser, which we're really excited about. Uh, we think that owning a desktop copy of the software is a great option for a lot of people, but also a lot of people just want to try something out, low risk, um, so you can come use it for a month and try out different things, or if you don't need to use software all the time, um, you can kind of use it for a month and then quit later. So yeah, we're excited about that um, as much as we are about the actual uh, tooth workflow. Alright, so thank you for watching.